Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. In Monday's Emmerdale episode, Tom King descended to yet another horrific low as he read himself to poison Piper the dog. Now that Belle has been in a mental health hospital, Tom is living alone in the village. This change occurred last week when Belle confided in a nurse that she was aware of her mental health issues and was concerned about what might come next. It is evident that Belle's mental health issues are becoming worse due to Tom's harsh actions. Tom so badly hurt Belle during his most recent scheme to make it appear as though she was the one with anger management issues that Belle shoved him to the ground in front of Vanessa, Michelle Hardwick, Rona, Zoe Henry, and Marlon, Mark Charnock. Tom was scared to learn that Belle had chosen to spend some time away from the Dales. He knew Belle would be surrounded by people who wanted to help her and that she could say anything, so he had no alternative but to say goodbye. In the ITV soap opera tonight, Tom spent time with Karen Blake's character, Lydia, Tom discovered that Lydia had been invited to see Belle by his wife while they were chatting about her. In a dimly lit room, Lydia attempted to explain to Tom that Belle most likely didn't want him to see her. Tom was forced to devise an awful new plan due to an out-of-control situation. Tom talked to Piper the dog at Dale Head about getting Belle home. Then he got to his feet, took out his vet bag, and got a syringe ready. He implied that Piper would suffer severe injuries and a repulsive Tom would have no trouble seeing that happen. Viewers of Emmerdale expressed doubts over a few missing scenes from the major episode on Wednesday because they felt a crucial scene was cut out. The episode seemed to leap ahead without any context, which led viewers to miss a major turn of events. Some fans had questioned whether the moment had been captured by mistake or if they had just not been paying attention. However, it soon became clear that everyone had missed the moment in question since it simply never aired. The most recent episode of the ITV soap opera started off somewhat suddenly with Ethan lying in the road, bleeding and hurt. As a car was spotted driving off, he appeared to be having trouble breathing and had a horrible expression. Following a hit and run, he was left for dead. The camera pans out while he lies still in the street. In the episode, viewers learned that Ruby Milligan had run him down in retaliation for Ethan's recent drunk driving accident that injured her son, Nikki. However, following the dramatic episode premiere, Ethan was last seen staggering back towards the settlement. Just when his family was beginning to worry that he was missing, Ethan appeared out of nowhere. He got up and left the scene, badly hurt and drenched in blood as he hobbled towards the settlement. Soon after, in front of his shocked family, he passed out, and Manpreet Sharma, the doctor, and his stepmother examined him. However, admirers who were a little perplexed by the chronology of events had to pause. The hit-and-run incident, in which Ethan was left in the road and the automobile drove off, was all that we witnessed. Then we saw him hurt and making his way home, but we never saw him leaving the village and getting ran over. Viewers were perplexed by this, wondering if they had missed the scene where Ethan was hit or if there had been an editing error. How he missed something when did Ethan get knocked over? A fan said on X, Miss the start, what happened, please? Was posted by another enthusiast. Did I miss something or was Ethan run down when no one was watching? Said a third admirer in a comment. Will Belle's knowledge of Piper's situation be sufficient for her to go back home and revert to Tom's total control? After sharing the depths of her sadness in a recent letter about the late Robin Windsor, Emmerdale star Lisa Riley has received an overwhelming amount of love and support from her fans. When the former Strictly Come Dancing star passed away earlier this year, the actress was among those who were grieved. Cisco Entertainment, which represented Robin in a number of theatrical and corporate entertainment capacities, confirmed his death in February at the age of 44. 
In his debut year on Strictly Come Dancing, Robin was paired with Patsy Kinsett, star of EastEnders, in 2010, but an injury forced him to quit after four years. The closest he ever came to victory was in 2012, when he and popular duo Lisa Riley from Emmerdale finished in fifth place. Driss Anita Dobson and Deborah Meaden of Dragon's Den were among the other partners. In addition, he appeared in a number of Christmas specials alongside ITV celebrities Allison Hammond and Susanna Reed. The star most recently made an appearance in the Moulin Rouge tribute stage production Come What May. My bestie, my Robin, my angel, now our forever angel, who is loved, will always be loved, forever in my heart, my very broken heart. I love you, shine your beautiful electric energy from heaven. Lisa wrote on Instagram alongside broken heart emojis, becoming one of the first people to publicly react to the tragic news. She shared a college of adorable pictures of the pair together during their time on Strictly, as well as over the years, as they remained good friends. He told you, I am T-H-E-P-A-C. Later, she went to his burial with a lot of celebrities, such as Janet Manrora from Strictly and Susanna Reed from Good Morning Britain. Now, Lisa was reminded of her profound loss as the Eurovision Song Contest broadcast on Saturday night. In tonight's May 17, Emmerdale episode, Tom King continued to use his wife, Fell, as leverage after acting violently against her once more. This week, the antagonist has been coercing Belle into betraying the Dingles for interfering with their intentions to have parents. In the hour-long episode that aired last night, May 16, Belle reminded Tom of the ways he had been controlling and intimidating, and this infuriated him to the point where he viciously punched her in the stomach. In tonight's episode, Tom apologized to Belle for hurting her when he got home. I honestly don't know why I did it. I would never, ever hurt you, he replied. You were making out I was some kind of monster. Belle said that she couldn't take Tom's apologies after witnessing his agony over the past few months, saying, I can't do this anymore. I require your departure. Tom chose to tell Belle a sob tale about his accommodations after hearing her reply, despite the fact that he had earlier been spotted discarding a spa receipt. I genuinely spent the entire night fretting over if you were wounded. To give you room and to feel safe, I've been sleeping in a freezing cold car, he stated. My mom and dad, the two people I've ever cared about, are gone. I can't let you go either. Tom tries to get Belle back by saying he couldn't live without her and that he wouldn't be able to trust himself if she left. Tom he said Hanley accepts to get help for his rage and aggression issues from a worried Belle. Belle asked, you're going to get help, right? Tom answered, of course, immediately, actually tomorrow. Belle, I swear, this is where the rest of our lives begin. Will Tom honor his promise? Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.